hell are we doing? Well, you're sitting down. <sighs> I'm sitting down. We're on Second Summit. There's a camera in front of us yeah. and a microphone. And I think, I think, I'm not sure. I mean, I haven't checked. But they might, they might be recording. So I guess we might as well do a vlog. You know. Um, so what's the really exciting thing that's going on in our life right now? <laughs> I was going to say, funny you should say that, because it's literally happening right now. Yeah. Uh, our YouTube channel. Yeah. Our, our YouTube channel oh. and the growth and the response. I mean, it, this this has been amazing for us. Um, you know, th this is a hard thing to do, yeah. really. And, and it's a hard <laughs> thing to start doing. Especially and when your story starts. Yeah. Like, where we started with, right. with recording it. Yeah, I mean, when we started recording <coughs> for this, we had no idea what we were doing. What, what, well, okay, look. We knew what we were doing. We were going sailing. We knew oh, that yeah. we were going to sail to Guatemala. We had a plan. We, had, we were doing boat work. We were getting the boat ready. We knew what we were doing there. When it came to shooting video, we had no concept of what we really wanted to achieve. Or what we were trying to capture, you know, and what we were going to do with it afterwards. I mean, we, we weren't yeah. thinking about well, YouTube or anything like <clears throat> that. Oh, no. Uh, actually, Kaylee was talking about uh, doing a documentary. Yeah, yeah. And putting together a documentary. Yeah. So she actually recorded our voyage that ended in a shipwreck and then we were in Mexico. Right. And then <clears throat> in Guatemala is when I picked up doing doing it yeah and uh, I yeah. kind of pirated Kaylee's uh, well, well Kaylee handed Kaylee, it over to you. Kaylee gave me the footage because she did she just doesn't want anything to do with it right now because it was really kind of hard for her it was painful so yeah. Um, yeah, yeah she no longer wanted to do the film stuff so she and I got involved in the film stuff and our interest in it together so it was one of those, okay, well, I'll see what I can do. Just as a way for me to process what happened, really. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. And, uh, and as I did that, it's kind of like, okay, well, you know, we'd already told people that we'd had the shipwreck and what had happened, but it was really when, um, when we were at Salt to Salt, I think. Yeah. that we told our story and the response that we got from people was just so supportive and you know it, one of those situations where you know here's what happened and you know both I'm trying to think of how to say it um, we we went through you, you know we talked about the experience we we told the story of the shipwreck yeah and you know, start to finish to a crowd of people that had seen no footage that, you know, they had met us. That was it. We well, told them most our story. of them hadn't even met us. <laughs> yeah. And we told them our story. And, you know, more than 20 people sat down to hear it. And for us, you the know. The idea that we were expecting like maybe one or two people that we had already previously talked to. I wasn't expecting so many people to show up. Yeah. And so the, to hear there, us talk, who the hell wants to hear us and talk? And the other thing that came out of it was that a, a young lady who was there, um, but hadn't been there for our talk, but had heard about it, uh, wanted to interview us for a piece that she was doing. And, you know, so we had eight people here over on Second Summit to interview us about our shipwreck from, the, from November. Mm -hmm. And um, in the interest there. And so... <sighs> You know, that's really what brought this about. And, and episode one we put together out of very limited footage. Oh, very, very limited. Very limited footage. It we, was... we weren't shooting, you know. And and like when it comes to the actual shipwreck, you know, um, there was really a lot going on that, for me at least, I, I certainly wasn't giving any thought to turning on a camera or anything like that. I, I was dealing with the situation at hand, you know. There were, Haley's the one that thought about it. Yeah. I mean, I, I was thinking about... You know, we, we hit the reef, <laughs> and the first thing that went through my mind is, um, 
okay, if we're going in the water, now what? And I threw the companionway door open and I looked outside and I looked to windward and here's this wave coming at us well above the cabin top and I slammed the door shut and said hang on and it hit and we got picked up and slammed down again and the next one comes and I'm assessing the situation I'm, I'm checking on everybody in the family and everybody's braced and coming together and we get picked up and we hit again and I'm counting the dinghies that we have on board I'm thinking about how far we are from shore um, I'm thinking about water depth I'm thinking about uh, water temperature I'm thinking about the weather conditions I'm thinking about who's a strong swimmer I'm thinking about who's the shoreline yeah you know, what we're headed to you know what are we gonna <laughs> land on you know um, that sort of thing that's what's going through my mind and the boat gets picked up and slammed down again and and picked up and she floats and as soon as she floated I had the floorboards up and was checking the the bilge for running water and nothing oh, is it is it the, the most beautiful sight I have ever seen in my life because at that minute I knew that everybody was going to live no matter what I knew that everybody was going to live as soon as I pulled those floorboards and saw no water coming in and then I threw the board shut and I yelled to Regina to get on deck and get on the helm and I ran to the foremast and started putting sail up and I had the foresail halfway up and she got to the wheel and no steering and I ran back to her and what had happened is that okay our steering system is was a wheel attached to a shaft that went inside a wooden box and inside that wooden box was a wooden drum and wrapped around that wooden drum in a spiral was a rope a line three strand and one end of it went down and went through a sheave and came to an aft facing tiller and the same on the other side so the steering system was on deck the aft facing tiller was a foot long um, about half the length of the half the total length of the rudder anyway one of the sheaves had completely shattered and it had torn completely free and I I could have fixed it with the stuff we had on board if I had had more time but I did not have that time so we went ashore but uh, yeah you know. I was about to say the time that we went over the the, the reef. reef to the time we were on the beach was minutes yeah I mean, yeah, we, we hit we hit the reef at midnight. We were on the beach by 10 after. Um, we were moving. The wind was honking. We were moving, you know. Um, and then after that, we were in Cancun. You know, we our, our home was on the beach, okay? And <laughs> so then we're in a hotel in Cancun. Everybody is worried about everything in our situation, you know. Um, Everything we had was tied up in this trip. Everything we had was tied up in this boat. Uh, you know. It was our home. You know, it was our home. And we actually didn't know how much money we had on hand when we hit the beach. Figured we probably had somewhere in the neighborhood of $1,000. And that was it. And we needed to get a hold of my dad we needed to get a hold of our family we needed to contact everybody and let them know exactly what was going on that's what we were thinking about nobody was thinking about shooting footage for that this this youtube channel was not even twinkle in the eye oh no and then we get over to uh isla Mujeres, and it's a month-long battle of trying to rescue that boat regina's laid up with a horrible cellulitis infection the um, kaylee and, and lily are doing everything they can to care for their mother and manage Anna and I'm doing everything I can to find a boat and a crew and get to our boat and save her and it took four days before we could get there four days and and by then everything was gone and I was about to say we, we couldn't get there because the area that the the boat was like trespassers are not allowed there yeah like so we couldn't get to the place 
we had to go by water to be able to to yeah. get to the boat. Yeah. Oh, obviously getting the boat. I want to pause here for a minute. Um, 